So hi everybody, my name is Kandan Manshi and uh, I'm an instructor in the Department of Engineering, um, Physical and Computer Science. And uh, I'm teaching uh, introductory courses as well as advanced programming courses. And um, one of the challenges in uh, my programming course uh, is that uh, the students that come to my class, they are usually, uh, they have usually uh, limited or no prior knowledge. And uh, because of the nature of this course, students do not have the knowledge because uh, they are not taught these subjects in high school. So uh, when they come to class, you know, usually the first two weeks are very confused. Um, and then the nature of the course requires uh, students to learn programming by just doing. So just, you know, delivering the content to students is not uh, enough. Um, but still, there is a theory that they need to learn. So in order to write programs and do activities, they still need to do the theory. But one of the challenges for me in class was that, you know, by the time I was covering the theory, there was not enough time to do activities in class. Um, and then, of course, you know, just do some uh, problem solving. So, um, uh, in spring of uh, 2018, uh, being a set uh, cohort member, uh, we uh, had to develop this strategy that uh, can help students uh, be more successful in their uh, course. And I applied a, a um, strategy that I called Watch, Think, Write, Share. And this strategy consists of uh, four different phases. And uh, the first three phases uh, are supposed to be done before class. Um, the watch phase, think phase, and write phase needs to be done before class. And the last part, which is the share part, is basically the phase that is going to be done during the class. And again, going back to what was my um, basically goal, uh, my goal was to be able to engage students more in class. So this strategy actually gives me more time in class uh, to be able to uh, engage students. So um, I used uh, a tool uh, that uh, Leah mentioned before. Uh, I used a tool uh, in order to implement the first two phases, which is the watch phase and the think phase. And uh, then uh, this uh, tool is called Edpuzzle. And basically Edpuzzle is a software, it's a, um, a tool that is actually um, free. You can find it um, online free and you can just sign up to it and uh, create an account. But uh, this actually helped me to gather all my videos in one place. And as a matter of fact, if you notice, um, you can, um, Okay, you can create classes, different classes, and as you can see, I um, used the, this uh, tool uh, um, fall last semester, and for this semester, I'm actually uh, creating another class, and uh, you can actually upload uh, your um, videos, and these videos can be found on YouTube, or you can create your own videos, or actually you can find videos uh, from instructors that have used uh, this uh, tool before and they uploaded their videos here. So there are lots of resources that you can find. But the good thing is that you can organize it in folders and you can use it later. Um, and uh, it, this tool has some features. Uh, the, uh, one of the features is that you can crop the video. So if you find that the, the video is uh, really long, you can actually crop it, make it shorter. Um, and as you can see, these two little things here, they actually show that, you know, where is the begin and end of the video. Another feature is that you can um, put your voice, you can uh, just record your voice over the entire video. Um, and that is the uh, feature that is, okay. Okay, so this is the feature voice, voice over. And then you can also add the audio notes um, to the video, as well as questions, the quizzes, which is uh, this part, the quizzes on here. And um, um, when you, so 
you know, this is an example of how you can add the quizzes. And as you can see here, uh, you can add the essay questions, uh, the quiz, I mean, when I say quiz, you know, questions uh, that the students can answer. So you can add the essay questions, multiple choice questions, as well as, you know, you know just put like a comment on your video. And um, um, uh, once you basically add these uh, questions, you can save it and it's going to appear like this. So these uh, little boxes with the question, question mark are the quizzes that, uh, for example, are in this part of the video. Uh, but the great thing is that, you know, when uh, the video comes to that part, the video pauses and then um, uh, students have to answer the questions and then submit the question in order to see the rest of the video. And this is just an example of a multiple choice question on this video, and um, it's pretty easy, as you can see here. Um, uh, another feature with this tool is that um, it actually lets you to see the progress uh, for the students. Of course, I haven't shown the, you know, the name of the students here, but you can see, you know, who has watched the video, who has not, you know, who has completed, and you can grade students on this. So this is really great. Um, it also has a grade book, so you can see the, you know, the video names, and, uh, you know, if you have, you know, graded the students, you can actually take these results and put it in the, on Blackboard easily. Um, so that's another thing. Um, so going back to the strategy that I had, and it had four phases, the first uh, two phases, uh, as I mentioned, uh, are implemented using this tool. Uh, so this is the, uh, the second phase um, that actually after, he, after the students watch the video, they have to think about the video. How do they think about the video by just answering these questions and just you know, look at the result to see if they got the concept or not. So that is really the uh, idea. So uh, that is the second phase. And the third phase, uh, again, these are done before the students come to class. Uh, the third phase is just the th uh, right phase. Uh, so after the students watch the video, after they answer the questions on the video, now they have to write about the key points they learned from the video. Uh, not only that, they have to also create a question, one question, not like many questions, just one question uh, based on the content of the video, and they have to also provide the answer to that question as well. Um, so they create the question, they um, uh, provide the answer, but they have to also upload it to Blackboard. So there is a uh, folder I have created on uh, Blackboard that they can upload it, and I can just look at all these questions um, and then just have them all together. So these are the three phases. The last phase is the share phase when they come to class. So they are prepared. Um, they have watched these videos. They uh, come with some background knowledge. Now they can actually bring uh, their information and share it in class uh, through the class discussion, um, just like, you know, um, uh, just um, sharing the one question that they created. Uh, we can just discuss about all this. Uh, now, this is a typical activity, class activity, that uh, they do in class. So they come to class, there is like a five minutes short quiz based on uh, the video um, that they uh, have watched. Uh, and these are really short stake uh, quizzes, maybe like, you know, 1% of the total grade. And then uh, it is followed by worksheets, and these worksheets are basically in a way that they have uh, two sections, short answer and then programming question. Short answer basically uh, uh, looks at, you know, how basically um, tests their knowledge, and then programming question gives them this um, chance to actually write code and then practice uh, more programming uh, activities. Uh, so this is uh, uh, based on the student survey. Um, after actually, uh, I, I implemented this uh, strategy uh, last semester, as I mentioned, and then I uh, surveyed students on uh, these, some of these questions. 90% uh, they said that they watched the videos on time. 75% they said they were confident, confident answering the questions on video. 80% they said it was effective. 
and it helped them for class discussions. And um, these are some of the um, highlights of student survey. Uh, some of them thought that there should be more, uh, there should be answers to the programming questions, and some of them they said that they need more, uh, basically, uh, uh, videos. Uh, this is the result of the midterm exam for three different uh, uh, semesters. Uh, there was an increase in the uh, midterm grade in the fall of 2018 compared to the last previous courses. And this is the result of the final exam. There was a big increase, um, but you know I definitely have to look at the uh, results more uh, for the next semester. Um, and this is basically just a chart of like, you know, comparing midterm and final exam. So that was it, that was, thank you.